Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about and doing this look on the Lunar Beauty Moonspell collection. I have the palette. I have all three of the lips. This is Manny MUA's brand and uh, I love the components on these. Look at that sparkly gem at the top of his lipsticks. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I'm talking about a witch palette you guys. I had to put on my witch hat. Um yeah. Anyway, as soon as I saw the notification that Manny uploaded and um, like five seconds into the video when I saw like just the whole aesthetic, I was like, whatever it is, I'm buying it. Whatever it is. I didn't realize it was going to be a palette like this. This palette is so pretty, you guys. And it's, I will link his reveal video right here. That way you can check it out for yourself and you can see all the swatches and all that fun stuff because I'm not going to go into that. But there's three lips and there's a palette in this collection and it is limited edition. He released a palette for Halloween. I mean, honestly, birthday twin came through this year for Halloween, okay? Because I was so happy to get this. So let's just get talking about the collection. There are two lipstick shades and a gloss. I have on Wicked with Enchantment Gloss on top. There is a red one, which I have worn a couple times and it is called Witch Bitch. It is also a, is a really pretty red. The only thing I have negatively to say about these is the smell. Now, the smell doesn't stay. It doesn't linger. Once you basically do that initial first swipe on your lip, it kind of dissipates. And I like that. I'm glad that it does that. But smelling these, it almost smells like it's overly sticky sweet. Like it's super sticky sweet. And they all have the exact same smell. So I don't think it has anything to do with formula or batch codes or anything like that. I don't think it's gone rancid or anything. I just think that that's just the smell of these. I have never bought a lipstick from Manny before. So these are my first ones. And if that is the smell on all of them, then that is the smell on all of them. I don't know. Um, but when I purchased, when I got these, I was just like, Ooh, that's potent. <laughs> so I love the formula on them. I don't feel like they are too I don't feel like they're sticky. Like my lips are not sticking together right now. They're perfectly like, mm, I just love it. You guys really can't tell right now how it looks. You see the shine, but you can't really see those reflex in that. But I'm going to do swatches on the back of my hand of the lipsticks. I am not going to do swatches of the palette. I did a couple in the tutorial, but um, I'm still not going to do swatches of the palette because Manny's already done that and it's just take too much time. So let's just talk about the palette. Um, it comes in this like sleeve, which I normally don't keep stuff like this, but this sleeve, I was like, mm, I need to keep this sleeve. <laughs> so basically it says something wicked this way comes. Be ready to shock and amaze in this enchanting 15 color color palette. Go from good witch to bad witch in a snap. This palette will put a spell on you. So it kind of like is like a book, you know? So on the on the spine of the book, it says uh, Lunar Beauty Moon Spell and it has like a skull at the top and it's got like a gold foil to it and it's got some keys crossed down here. I love everything about this palette. This aesthetic of this palette is perfection. Look at this palette, you guys. Look at it. Look at it. So you've got some looks like sparrows you've got the moon you've got skulls you've got the death's head moth i cannot say that death's head moth the snake a spider palmistry hand you've got a bee a skull on the back the artwork on the back is just mm, it is so pretty just i mean before i even opened it before i when he pulled this up and showed it to us i was like yeah i need that that's bought so he wanted to do a palette that was basically based on all of the witches that he's grown up with. And I can so relate to this palette. Every single solitary witch in here, except for maybe Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service, because I didn't watch that. But every other one in here, I know exactly who they are. So I'm just going to get into it because I'm talking a lot. It's, I'm excited. I'm excited. So there's a very big mirror which I appreciate. I appreciate the simplicity of the interior too. It's gold. It just says Lunar Beauty right here underneath the mirror. And um, I appreciate that it's not so busy on the inside. It's just the focus of the palette, which is gorgeous. So up until I did the tutorial, I hadn't swatched these, touched these or anything. I was saving it for this. And this came out, I received this at the end of October. It is now the middle of November. 
I'm sorry it took this long. I'm sure that you guys are have seen this. I, it may not even be available anymore. I apologize about that. But it might still be available. I'll link everything down below. Just check that box down there. So I'm going to go through all the names because they are iconic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hold it like this so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But my light is going to reflect right off that gold and just not be able to show you. So we have Prue. We have Piper. We have Phoebe. And we have Paige. And we have Sabrina. These four are the Hollowell Matthews sisters. So these three are the Hollowell sisters. And then we have Paige Matthews, which is the last sister after Prue passed away. We have Sabrina, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, obviously. And then on the second row, we've got Winifred, Sarah, Mary, Samantha, and Kiki. Obviously, you know Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. They are from Hocus Pocus. Everyone knows who Samantha is from Bewitched. And then Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. So I have not watched that one, so that is new to me. And then the last row, we have Hermione, Bonnie, Marnie, Nancy, and Fiona. I love that row so much. It's such a pretty row. I cannot wait to play with it, but I was really feeling my Charmed sisters today. So I love Charmed. I have watched Charmed so many times. I love Charmed. I love Charmed a lot. Don't judge me. So we have Hermione. Everyone knows Hermione. Hermione is from Harry Potter. If you don't know that, then you need to go and watch Harry Potter and then come back and report it to me. Actually read the books first and then report back. Bonnie is the witch from The Vampire Diaries. And I absolutely love Bonnie. I cried so much over Bonnie. But anyway, that's Bonnie. Um, and then Marnie is from one of my most favorite shows ever, which is Halloween Town. And um, I actually follow her on YouTube. She's a YouTube channel now. And um, she actually did a video with Manny. I'll link that right there. I'll link her channel as well up there. She's awesome. Go go check her out. Nancy is from The Craft. And she's just one badass bitch. If you haven't seen The Craft, that is a classic you need to watch. And then Fiona is from American Horror Story. Coven. All of these shades are absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to play with all of them and actually really really get into it but I did use um every single one from the first row and then I used Sarah from the second row so that's it guys that is the entire moon spell collection from Lunar Beauty and I definitely recommend if you are wanting to pick something up definitely pick up the red for sure this gloss is amazing as well but if you have a black you can skip this black I mean it's a good black but if you already have a black liquid lipstick, you don't need another black liquid lipstick. So yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you want to see how I created this look, then just stay tuned. Okay, guys, for the tutorial portion of this video, I ordered this palette a few days after it launched and it came like, I think, end of October. Um, it's now mid-November and I still have not touched this palette. I was waiting to film a review for you guys. So... And I just haven't got around to it till now. And um, yeah, so I've been dying to play with this. Okay, so you saw in the intro, the packaging is just, mm, love it. Um, it looks like a book. It's just, it's everything. I don't care what anybody says about Manny. I don't care what anybody says about anybody, really. But he's my birthday twin. And um, I love me some Manny. His stuff is good. What are you going to do? All right, so mm, I'm so excited. I mean, and I've got this little, this little witch hat headband thingy on it. I was like, okay, that's appropriate because my hair keeps getting in my foundation and like in my stuff. And I'm just like, I need to pull my hair out of my face, even though I don't have much. My hair's not that long. It still gets in my face. It gets in my way. You can look at the swatches. I'm not going to do swatches or anything like that. Like I'm going to show you a couple of them. Like here's Prue. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and there's no like, there's no primer on my hand. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I want to see what Phoebe looks like. Ooh, oh my gosh. That's Phoebe. I'm kind of flipping you guys off. Sorry about that. It's like magenta with purple reflex. Well, I already did Prue and Phoebe, so I might as well do Piper. I like totally skipped over Piper. Ooh. Oh my goodness okay and I guess I gotta do page because you know oh, the Hollowell sisters well Paige is a Matthews but whatever you get the point OMG I have his first palette his life's a drag palette so 
Like I know the qualities there. I, ha I don't have his second and third palettes. This is his fourth palette. I only have his first one. I kind of forgot, kind of forgot he had a brand for a minute there. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Put that on the back of my hand. I'm gonna prime these lids. This is a super thick, very um, sticky eye primer, which I love this primer, um, but I really prefer using it for a cut crease. So um, I don't prefer using it as my like my base, but I'm running out of my favorite base, which is the Ulta Matte um, Eye Primer. I love that one and I'm, I'm almost out of it. So I have like a paper towel in my lap. So I'm gonna dust off my brushes down here. Is it wrong to use Jeffree's brushes on Manny's palette? I mean, it is what it is. I kinda wanna go in first with Sarah, which is this like, this one right here. It's very like mauve-y. I'm gonna pack this on pigmented. I'm just gonna tap this onto my crease area and blend that out blend that up I'm not getting any fallout which doesn't make or break a palette for me it just it is what it is it's just one of those things that I like to note I'm not getting a lot of fallout so that's a good sign for me I like that because I don't have to touch up my makeup underneath so I'm just going to continue to intensify this Sarah shade. I think I'm gonna dip into Paige, which is that bright, like, pinky, purpley, oh my goodness, so pretty. Wow, very pigmented. I'm gonna tap that off, and we're gonna just rock that right in my crease. I don't want to bring that one all the way up. I just want to put, I just want to kind of place it there and just blend it. I don't really want to bring it too far up. And I always like to take my brush and kind of stamp where I'm going to be placing it and then blend it out. Especially if you have a sticky base, you want to tap the color down onto your lid that way you kind of have like something for it to blend with instead of it being just on the sticky base because you're going to pull on your eyelid. It's going to grab in some areas. Um, my blend isn't always perfect, but I do try and take my time with my blend and get it as perfect as possible. So this is Sarah and Paige. Like I said, they're blending together beautifully. And I think I might go in with some Sabrina, which is the beautiful bright purple okay so I'm gonna go in with Sabrina and I'm not changing the brush up or anything I'm using the Morphe M503 mm, such a pretty purple this one I'm gonna concentrate lower down on my lid in my crease like right in my socket and on the outer third That is so pretty. Do you see how the do you see how much darker and how much depth is on this side? Just from that little bit of purple just in that outer, right in that crease. I'm not gonna do a cut crease. I'm just gonna do um a glitter all over the lid. I'm just gonna probably pop um Phoebe and Prue on my lid and call it a night. Um before I do that though, I am going to pop some Piper in the outer third because it's that pretty metallic shade. I might have to use this one with my finger, but you know what? No. Look at that. That picked up a lot. I'll dust a little bit of that off and just see. Oh yeah. The color is so pretty. All right, so then I'm gonna take my ring finger, I'm gonna go in with Phoebe, and I'm gonna pop that right here on the center of my lid. Then I'm gonna take Prue and I'm gonna pop that in the very, very, very inner corner of my eye and my lid. 
go in with a little bit more Sabrina, which is that purple, just so I can deepen this crease line all the way in. I'm going to take a little bit more Sarah. I'm just going to dust that off. And I just want to bring this just ever so slightly up. So I'm going to go in with Sabrina on a pencil brush. I'm going to go in with my MAC 217, which is stained. I'm going to take Paige. I'm going to run that underneath the purple. I have all of the lips in this collection. So I've got a black, I've got a red, and I've got this beautiful gloss that really goes with what I'm wearing today. But we're going to put the black on, then we're going to put the gloss, and then... That's going to be the end of this video. Oh my goodness. That was one swipe. I didn't have to go back in for a second swipe. That was one swipe. However, I like to go back in with a second coat to fix up any mishaps that I may have made. It's not sticky or like heavy. Sorry, my lip line is already janky enough as it is, so I need to get up close and personal. And this is the shade Wicked. I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, I'm going to put Enchantment on top, but I'm not going to use my lip wand because I'm about to get that messed up with black. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. Uh, look at that. Can you see that? Mm, it almost has the same kind of reflex as Prue. Oh yeah. All right. So then I'm going to take a little brush for applying this. This is probably not the correct brush, but I don't care. Stop it. Just, just stop it. I don't even know if you guys can see that. I know you see the shine, but the reflex, <sighs> they're insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off since, oh, this crazy hair of mine. This concludes the tutorial portion of this video. I am gonna go film my intro, my thoughts, all that fun stuff with this palette. I feel like these shadows just blended seamlessly like if you're a beginner, you'll be fine with this palette. If you're a pro, you'll be fine with this palette. This palette is made for everyone, I feel like. It's just a good palette. And this lip, oh, this lip is so good. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel gloopy, gloppy, whatever. I can do this and nothing's sticking. Nothing's on my teeth. So yeah, my final thoughts on this palette. It's very much worth the price. I think you can buy each item individually or I'm not sure if everything's still available. I will link everything down below. I will link Manny's video right here. This came out, like I said, a while ago and I've been waiting and holding on to it and yeah. So I hope that you guys are doing well. If this is the first video that you're seeing of my mug, uh, my name is Wendy. I make a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of the Darling Make It family and also hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, let me know if you've purchased this palette. Let me know if you're loving it. Let me know if you're having any struggles with it. It. Just let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!